With the Olympic Games coming up this summer in London, we've come to the USA Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs to learn more about Olympic style shooting. And I'm here with Coach David Johnson, coach of the uh, USA Shooting Rifle Team, and it's a privilege to have you here to talk a little bit about these London Olympics. And uh, so what are your feelings about the games this, this coming summer? Well, I feel great about them. We've got a great team going. We've got a couple more slots to select in June, but most of the team is selected now, and we've got returning Olympians and a returning Olympic medalist from 2008 and 2004, and I think we're going to do very well. Hmm, great. Um, you know, I've talked to a number of young men and women here today, uh, ranging from uh, first-time potential Olympians to gold medalists, and mm -hmm. they're um, an impressive group of people. But what does it take to become an Olympic-level athlete? What separates them from the shooters like me? Well, sure. Well, I think the, the key thing is it's like any Olympic sport at this level. Whether you're running, swimming, or shooting, you have put a lot of time and dedication into this event over many years working on your technique, perfecting your technique, and also perfecting your competitive ability. And so whether you're shooting a gun at a target or running on a track, there's a lot of time and effort over many years that goes into that. And that's one of the key things to remember is uh, um, these folks here that you've met today and will see this summer have dedicated their lives to this event. And it, it takes a lot. I mean, they put, a, put aside school, sometimes put aside career starts to pursue this. It really is a sacrifice. It is. It? It yeah. is. Tell us about some of the training. I mean, how much time is, is uh, put in? And, uh, and did some of the athletes even live here in this campus? That's right. Uh, the Olympic Committee gives USA Shooting some beds here where we can give a long-term commitment to athletes so they can come here and train and work and you know put aside some of the worries of the world a little bit mm -hmm. while they do that and that's a big help. Um, but they'll spend a few hours on technique a day and, that, and I usually call technique a range training, working with our laser systems and stuff, perfecting technique. And then they'll also spend time on physical work. And that can be uh, anything from just running, cycling, work, work, weight room workouts. Uh, some of them climb the mountain over here. There's a neat place you really? can go to get a really good workout. And they'll spend that time getting ready so they can compete even, better, even stronger. Um, they'll also work with the nutritionists, with the sports psychologists here, with mm -hmm. our sports vision, and all in the goal of getting better and better at what they do. Um, where do your athletes come from in terms of, you know, I've heard in the, that in the past, and maybe it's still true today, that some come out of the military, but collegiate rifle shooting is very popular right now. Where do you see the athletes coming from today? Well, they come from both those areas. Um, in rifle, we have an NCAA sports sanction. So we, uh, schools can sponsor Olympic-style rifle shooting. And a lot of our kids come through there. It's a great opportunity for them to learn to compete and learn to be disciplined in their training because it's so hard to be an elite level rifle shooter and be a great student at the same time. And so they learn a lot of skills there that help them not only in the sport but throughout life, just discipline and working towards a goal. Um, we also have some folks from the military and uh, whether they're from Fort Benning, Georgia, the Mar Army Marksmanship Unit or the Army's World Class Athlete Program out here at Fort Carson. Um, we have a lot of athletes that end up there. Some of them will go through school and go into the Army, mm -hmm. and some will join the Army directly and work their way up. Um, you've been an Olympic um, athlete yourself, and I, and I believe you finished 11th uh, I did. In, in the rifle competition. Um, did you learn any lessons that uh, helped make you a better coach? Oh, I think so. I, I competed in 1992, and uh, learned a lot in the preparation up to that and then the competition itself that I think it helps me as a coach. Um, I, some of it just the simple stuff of how to do how to talk with someone before they compete <laughs> um, all the way back to hey the years of preparation and things that will help you be successful and, and most importantly what to focus on has really really helped in my coaching experience. Well, that's been a, a great overview of uh, Olympic rifle uh, sports, and I appreciate it, Dave, and wish you the best of luck uh, in the London Olympics this summer. And uh, I would say to all the recreational shooters out there, need a place to shoot? You can find a range at wheretoshoot.org. And remember, when you go to the range, firearm safety depends on you.